We've hacked into an old spy satellite to monitor your positions. And we've set up a comm link with Gromonet. If you need weapons, just access one of these pods and wire us some bolts. We'll teleport the supplies to the surface. <laughs> Ratchet games have been all about the weapons since the very early going. Really, really the first thing we did was, you know, start with an action platformer and then add this layer of weapons and progression over top of it. Now you still have weapons that you buy with bolts and each weapon does uh, a very unique and powerful thing. But the co-op twist that we've added is that when you use weapons together, you get an even more powerful effect. Using multiple pyroblasters on the same target, will cause it to explode in a fiery magma blast. So if two people have the same weapon equipped, we, we give you what's called a co-op overload effect, where you're doing more damage and kind of building up the power of the weapon together. You know, any of the weapons do this now, so you can be using the critter strike on one of the enemies, and two people use it, and they build it up on a big enemy, and then when you get the big explosion at the end, if there's any little surrounding enemies nearby that big enemy, they'll also be transformed by the blast. I'm a big fan of the plasma bomb launcher just because it does a lot of damage. You can fire it pretty quickly, um, and you can lob it over cover and whatnot. So I think it's a pretty darn effective weapon. The uh, flamethrower is actually one of my favorite weapons um, just because you can knock out a lot of enemies just by sort of running around in circles a little bit. I think the Blitzer has turned in to one of my favorite weapons. Uh, we didn't use it a lot at the beginning, but uh, we, we tweaked it a lot, and um, we put some awesome effects on our force, and it's just become really, become really helpful in the competitive aspect. Uh, we found there are several weapons that help you compete with your friends, and they give you the leg up. I won't give those away, but there are ways to do that. You know, we do bolt dash, where you're all trying to get the most bolts you can. You know, how many critters can you get? How many enemies can you kill? And it's been pretty breakneck pace, you know, in, in these games. And, uh, you know, we don't, we don't pull any punches. <laughs> you can play the game cooperatively. And you can have an awesome time. The competitive thing is sort of an opt-in that's on top of everything else. You know, if you're, if you're the best, if you're really competitive, um, you, can get, you get the most bolts, you're going to get the cool weapons. You know? Go, Terrawatt is a kind of a mixed bag level. Um, we have we have light and dark gameplay. We have um, we have kind of a racing slash cooperative uh, gameplay in there. Uh, the, the lighting is really nice. We have we have several different environments going on in that in that just that one level. It's so much fun to play, especially with like you know the animators and I will play test together. Um, it has just such a diverse gameplay in it, in each segment. I think that that level, for me, stands out quite a bit. And it's, it's gorgeous as well, so there's that too. In Terrawatt, there's one segment where you get on the back of a big guardian robot and uh, you have a turret, all the four characters have a turret on the back of the robot. And, uh, you know, he stomps through the world as you're shooting down enemies and eventually fighting other big guardian robots that are trying to stop you. As you can imagine, getting all this stuff to work together was quite a, quite a lot of work and involved people from multiple programmers, uh, multiple animators, uh, designers, um, just and all the way through the pipeline, getting all that stuff to work. It is a small team, but the people that are going to be working on this thing, there's a, a lot of collaboration that goes along and a lot of like kind of extra disciplinary, you know, creative development that pushes, you know, something that's this kind of simple, really compelling idea into, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of memorable gameplay.
しょう。